Alright gamers, how is it going? It's the man, the me, the... the, the yeah. Uh, Rainy here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial for y'all of how to make a sound mod uh, from scratch. Kind of. So, first things first, what you're going to want to do is uh, go to Word on the Live, right here, live.wordhunter.com. You go to Sounds. And then you say, learn how to make a sound mod, or you actually just press here, GitHub. All right, you open this, and then you press code, download zip. And then when you download this thing, you want to extract it because it'll be in a zip folder. So you, you can use whatever program you want. You extract it, right? And then, voila, you have your mod thing. I personally rename it though into something like this, you know, where it, it would make sense. And I made a tutorial burner just for this. And then it's probably a good idea to also rename the FS Pro file to something else because this it'll appear the way here, that way here. All right. So once you open this, what? Well, once you have this, you would want to now. Um, download the program for this which is going to be fmod studio all right you you want to make an account here and uh, get fmod sign in cool fmod studio is what you want and then you need to download 2.1 2.106 download Windows 64 or 32 bit depending on your PC. Once you downloaded it, the exe file, you install the program. I'm not going to do that because we already have the program installed. And then once you do, you double click your FS profile and then wait for it to open and then it'll look like this kind of depending on what you did, if you press anything buttons or not. So I have two instances open of my sound mod and a burner one. So kind of what I'm going to do today is just tell you how to kind of essentially use the program. Nothing too advanced, nothing too convoluted like looping or effects or whatever. Just some basic stuff. Alright, got it? Got it. Cool. So obviously as you can see here there are a ton of events we each have their own different job in the game you have different banks here and different assets so assets were like all your where you get your sound your mp3 slash wave files and you can find uh, them here in the folder as well assets so here they are And you can also view them here. So here I will play, let's say, uh, I'll play this effect. So you can listen to them in the program or you can find it in your assets folder. Anyway, so but probably a lot of people would want to do that have been requested to do this like a year ago or something is how to make music. And music was actually kind of basic. So I'm going to open the uh, thing. So for music, you will want to go to aircraft and then music. And then you'll be given with a bunch of these uh, things to edit. And here are some things that you would probably want to know as well. What should I even be editing here, right? And there's different things for different thing uh, stuff. But like if you say want to make a login theme, you would want to modify mo uh, menu new. This is the old one. Don't bother, you choose this. And then if you want like action music, you change action one. If you want suspense, you do suspense zero one. If you want just top tier music, only top tier music to play, well then you have aircraft and tank action music. So that's that. Pretty simple. Then you can also do na uh, national like main themes and victory defeats. Now personally, don't bother with wins or lose. It, 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 like I thought it would work, of course it's universal, but no, it's honestly a lot. Of, it's just a lot easier to do edit victory defeats for every country. That way they will guaranteed to play. Um, 
And there's stuff for planes, there's stuff for tanks, there's stuff for ships. So if it doesn't say anything like ships or tanks, underscore action suspense, it's probably for planes. So that's what's something good to know. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to add some music just for this. Uh, let's use some Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, view. List. Alright, cool. Uh, sort of a jury. Why not? Forward menu. And over here you can play, you can pause, you can do whatever. So now you're presented with the, uh, and you can like change the volume here, change the volume here. You can loop it or you can async it, whatever channel one when you want. But for menu, just keep it on one, one playthrough. Cool, so it works. Nice. So when you do log in, when you have to give it the uh, login prompt, this is the song that, that I picked will play. Same goes to like anything here. Uh, let's suspense. Probably for this one, it would be this song. So once again, if you're if you're given something like this, a multi instrument, it's probably a good idea to just drop the file in here. And these kind of work like playlists too, so you can like modify uh, their order and like looping and everything, as well as you can change their uh, um, audio volume. And you should probably also change the content length so it matches the actual file size and extend this blue thing so it matches the length. And we can let's play it. And you can also like copy these and paste these here. You can like delete them, you can do this. It's fairly neat. So that's that. So for music it's pretty honestly pretty simple. There's nothing really too convoluted with that. And like you can also modify stuff for tanks. As long as you have the proper sound bank files for well like sounds for them, like if you remember how the one hundred meter sound used to sound like, this is how it sounds like. And what I did here was like delete what the file what was in here and then replace it with the file that I wanted. And yeah, so honestly though, there's nothing really too complicated. It just depends on it just. If you have the proper so uh, file for different things, like you know, music for music, ground for ground, like this is how it, the 100 millimeter sun gun sounds like without any changes. <laughs> sounds kind of mid, if you ask me, right? So what I could do is go find my my assets in my folder. Tanks, weapon. Cannons, go with you 100 millimeter, and then I can like clear these. This, these are the echo, by the way. If you have your own echo files, use those. But for now, I'll just use these, and you can just drag and drop. So now this is this is how it will sound like when you that sounds a game. You can do the same for literally every other gun in the game, as well as their AI. AI means AI, AI, and like other players. You can change their distance, density, event cone, one shot, blah, 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 blah. So it's, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do in this. Um, and it's, it's honestly pretty cool, if you ask me. 
and like if you want to you know then again like then export you would find the thing that you changed and then you press build now for people who are going to be watching after the La Royale update you will have a problem with these so for, for these what you want to do is actually like take all of these and you press delete and then you delete these there that way when you when you start building banks there shouldn't be any, any problems and you can like import these all you want if you want to use these so honestly it's not that hard it just depends on what you have what you're gonna do in your idea behind it my idea was my idea your idea can be completely different so that's that and I, I hope this tutorial was helpful enough uh, part two question mark I guess I don't know you don't even need is anything to add anyway subscribe comment all that jazz goodbye